Samsung's Galaxy Buds FE marked the company's entry-level earbuds, prioritizing comfort and affordability. Unlike recent rounded designs, these earbuds are a throwback to the Galaxy Buds Plus, featuring silicone wings for a secure fit and a flattened touchpad area for easier controls. While lacking advanced features like wireless charging and spatial audio, the Galaxy Buds FE maintain essentials like active noise cancellation and ambient sound pass-through. This review delves into various aspects we're going to look at sound quality, software features and all the rest. Let's go! The case design is pretty standard. It has a glossy finish like the Galaxy Buds 2 case, and only its interiors match the color of the earbuds, with the case being white on the outside no matter which version you purchase. The Galaxy Buds FE, as I already mentioned, is reminiscent of the Galaxy Buds Plus. This design choice has resonated with users like me, who appreciate the comfort and stability it offers, especially for extended wear. If we compare Buds FE and Buds Plus side by side, we will see that the former are a little more compact and the touchpad area on top is oval shaped, not triangular. By the way, it may seem that it is a mechanical button, but no, it is a sensor area and because it is flat, it reduces chances of accidental taps when adjusting the earbuds, something the Buds 2 and Buds Pro lineups suffer from because of their rounded construction. Galaxy Buds FE sit comfortably in the ears and stay there. The included tips are quite unique as they feel like a mix between silicone and another material, probably vinyl. The wings itself can be replaced with this attachment. However, it's crucial to note some omissions. The absence of Samsung's 360 audio features and more advanced gesture controls might disappoint users seeking cutting-edge functionalities. Additionally, the exclusion of wireless charging, a departure from the norm of Samsung earbuds, hints at cost-cutting measures. And finally, the earbuds carry an IPX2 water resistance rating slightly below the industry standard IPX4. Despite the cost-conscious approach, Samsung retains essential features such as active noise cancellation and a transparency mode for ambient sound pass-through. The ANC performance is commendable for the price range, effectively isolating the user from external noises. The wingtip design helps by providing a bit of passive noise cancellation just by being in your ears. The ambient mode is a step down from the Buzz 2 Pro and sounds more artificial, and also those features don't have adjustment levels like Pro models. As for the sound quality, the Galaxy Buds FE aligned with Samsung's standard toning curve, which most listeners will find perfectly enjoyable. Of course, people have different preferences when it comes to sound, but the Galaxy Buds FE, despite having a single driver, do a solid job of producing audio when listening to music or podcasts. The buds are loud enough and have a clean sound profile. I listened to mostly rock, indie and podcasts during testing, and I was happy with the performance across the board. Although they don't sound flat, probably the only only thing I want to add is richer bass, but we can play around with sound settings in the Galaxy Wearable app where you will find several equalizer presets. My best choice is dynamic mode. The Galaxy Buds FE have three microphones inside each earbud and they do a good job of picking up sound during call. This is an example of how the microphones on these earbuds work. Now you hear my voice through the Galaxy Buds FE that are currently in my ears. Okay, one, two, three. How do you hear me? I think you got the idea. On the software front, the inclusion of game mode for reduced latency and auto switching between Galaxy devices adds value. Galaxy Buds FE come with a surprisingly complete software package. Although I was a bit surprised during the setup process through the Galaxy Wearable app, the multi-step process involving downloading an add-on for Galaxy Buds FE support seems counterintuitive in an era of seamless integrations. To be fair, it didn't take long, I think no more than a minute. Among the major features, there is automatic detection of when the earbuds are put in the ears and also when they are removed, which poses whatever media was playing. However, it doesn't pose the music when you remove just one earbud. It poses only when you remove both earbuds as in the rest Galaxy Buds models. It would be better if the settings provided the ability to pause the music when you remove one of the earbuds. The Buds FE support gestures on the touchpad, and they are the same as the ones on other Galaxy Buds. During media playback, a single touch poses and resumes playback. A double top skips to the next track 
track and a triple tap plays the previous track. When you get a call, you can double tap to answer it or touch and hold to decline. A double tap also ends the ongoing call. It's also possible to customize the touch and hold gesture for each earbud. You can set the gesture to switch between ambient sound and noise cancellation modes, voice command, reduce the volume or open the Spotify app. The Galaxy Buds FE also work great with Samsung's ecosystem of devices. They can be paired with multiple devices like your phone or tablet and the earbuds are smart enough to automatically switch between those devices. In addition, the application has a Find My Earbuds option. The service showed where the earbuds were, but when I tried to find their exact location using search nearby option and ultrawide band, I got nothing. Even after taking the earbuds out of the case, the phone couldn't detect their exact location. Fortunately, there is a ring function and then you can at least hear where the headphones are. Thus, Galaxy Buds still don't offer an easy way to find them, but only provide an approximate location. Battery life is a notable strength of the Galaxy Buds FE, advertised for up to 6 hours of listening time with ANC on and 8.5 hours with it off, real world usage confirms reliable endurance. The charging case extends these totals to 21 hours and 30 hours respectively. Fast charging is not explicitly advertised, but the compact size of the earbuds suggests users can gain an hour's worth of listening time with a short charging session. In conclusion, the Samsung Galaxy Buds FE strike a balance for users seeking reliable ANC, good sound performance and battery life without breaking the band. As for me, I just need something comfortable to wear that can play music that doesn't sound flat and the Galaxy Buds FE checks these boxes at a very attractive price. And if Samsung's Passion Earbuds were a better match for your ears than the current crop, the Galaxy Buds FE will be a welcome return to the older design. There doesn't always need to be some flashy new feature. These headphones are more than worth their price and if the price drops further during holiday promotions, they could become an attractive proposition for Android users seeking a no-frills yet dependable audio companion. Guys, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and please share this video with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.